Hi friends, welcome to Trinity Kids Online. My name is Holly and this month we kick off a brand new series called Make Waves. Are you ready? Let's go. Friends, it is so great to see you and I am so excited to have fun this month learning all about the ways that Jesus helps us do everything. One of the ways that we can make waves is because of God's amazing love. Did you know he loves us so much? Now, when I say the word love, what's something you think of? Maybe candy? I'm sure you really love candy. You might also think about the people you love, right? An adult in your home, maybe a sibling or a really great friend. You might even think about Jesus, of course. Now, when I think about love, I think about hearts. And it makes me think about how God's love for us makes us strong to do all the things we need to do. Speaking of things we need to do, today we have a fun game and a brand new song to sing and dance to, as well as a brand new story with Hayden. He's in the clubhouse today. Are you ready to start our game? You are? That's great, let's play. Can you help me match the hearts and the strawberries together by color? Great, let's take a look. Can you find the two red hearts? That's great, let's see what's next. How about the pink hearts? Look, those are the two matching ones. Now let's try to match the two yellow ones. Oh, there they are, right down at the bottom. That's all our hearts. Now, let's take a look at some strawberries. Can you match the two red strawberries? That's great. Now, how about the two pink strawberries? Wonderful. Now, let's finish off with the two orange strawberries. You did it! You matched up everything perfectly. Thanks so much. Thanks for playing, friends. That was so much fun. I am so glad you had fun matching all those items. Way to go! Now let's focus our hearts on Jesus with a brand new song. It's so fun and catchy that you'll be singing it all day long. Let's worship Jesus. He's amazing.
great singing friends. We're making waves. So good. Now, let us go visit Hayden in the clubhouse for today's story all about loving others because of God's big love in your heart. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning to go to the beach. And I think some of it came home with me. Raise your hand if you like to play in the water. Me too. My friends and I played and splashed in the water all day. We looked around the beach and found some really cool things like this really cool piece of driftwood. and so many shells. But the most fun thing we found was really cool painted rocks. Some people painted them and hid them in places on the beach. Do you know what's on this rock? Shout it out if you know. One, two, three. A heart, yes, a heart means love. I love hearing the waves. I love playing ball. I love eating lollipops. There's so many things to love. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Found some treasures at the beach, did you? Oh, hi, Ollie. Someone painted this cool heart rock and it reminds me of all the things I love. Love is important. It's true. I know the biggest love ever for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello there. I'm Aisha, welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see what I made today? Ta-da! <laughs> I call them my heart full of love cupcakes. They've got hearts on top and yummy red frosting, and when you take a bite, they are full of red and pink heart sprinkles. They are so fun! <laughs> they go with today's story about why we should have a heart full of love for others. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible starts with God. Do you know that God loves you so much? It's true. Stretch out your arms as far as you can. Yes, stretch really far. <laughs> Good! God loves you bigger than your arms can stretch. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> okay, you can put them down now. Because God loves us so much, He gave us the best gift ever. God gave us His Son, Jesus, to be our friend forever. Jesus was born on the very first Christmas. Did Jesus stay a little baby? No! Jesus grew up to do amazing things and show us how God wants us to live and how to love others. No matter where Jesus went or what He was doing, Jesus stopped to show others that He loved them. One day, Jesus stopped to talk to a man named Zacchaeus, even though Zacchaeus had made lots of bad choices. Jesus loved Zacchaeus no matter what. Then, another day, Jesus had been teaching all day, and he wanted to take a rest. 
But Jesus loved the crowd and wanted to help them. So he kept teaching them instead of going away. There was also a time when one of Jesus' friends, Peter, told people that he didn't know Jesus and wasn't friends with him. How would you feel if someone said they weren't your friend? I would feel sad and it would probably be hard to forgive them. But Jesus did forgive Peter. Jesus loved Peter and forgave him for telling people they weren't friends. Jesus is an amazing friend and God sent him to show us how to love everyone. Jesus taught us to stop and listen to our friends. Jesus taught us to help our friends. Jesus taught us to forgive our friends. When we stop to listen, help, and forgive, we are loving like Jesus taught us to. Jesus can help us love everyone. Jesus can help us do everything. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God loves us so much. He gave Jesus so we can choose love in all we do. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus to be our friend forever. Jesus can help me choose to love and love can change the world. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. Hey. One way I can choose love is by FaceTime my grandma. I can tell her I love her and show her my cool rocks. See you next time. What a great story today. I love what Hayden said. God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus to be our friend forever. See, Jesus can help us choose to love, and love can change the world. It sure can, can't it? I can't wait to hear about all the amazing ways that God's love in your heart changes the world around you when you choose to love. Sometimes it's hard to love, isn't it? I'm so glad that God is with us every day so that when we need help choosing to love, even when we don't want to, God promises to help us. It was so fun hanging out with you, and I hope you get into some amazing adventures this week. I'll see you next time, friends. Bye.